Good day, everyone. You're welcome to this week's business and investment tips program, a production of RCCG Christchurch Radio with Ayode Jebo, an investment professional. This week, the focus is on the March 2024 inflation numbers and expectations. Last week, the National Bureau of Statistics, MBS, released the Consumer Price Index, CPI, report for March 2024. The Consumer Price Index, CPI, is used to calculate inflation as it measures the average change over time in the prices paid for goods and services consumed by people for day-to-day living. The CPI is computed monthly by comparing the prices of goods and services in March 2024 with March 2023 year-on-year year, and by March 2024 with February 2024 month-on-month. Month. The NBS tracks the prices of goods and services of 3,774 items across the states and the FCT. According to the report, consumer prices rose 33.20% year-on-year year in March 2024, the highest since the rebasing in 2009 from 31.70% year-on-year in February 2024. Similarly, on a month-on-month basis, the inflation moderated to 3.02%, lower than 3.12% recorded in February 2024. The reduction in the month-on-month inflation is due to the 19.3% month-on-month appreciation of the Naira in March 2024. The year-on-year jump witnessed in inflation was primarily due to the pass-through effect of the weaker Naira about 40.9% year-on-year depreciation to 1,270 Naira per dollar in March 2024 from 750 Naira per dollar in March 2023. That is coupled with persistent structural factors and insecurity in major food producing areas. Given this, the food and non-alcoholic beverages 17% division remained the major contributor to price pressures, following by housing, water, electricity, gas, and other fuel 6% and clothing and footwear 3%. The biggest headline inflation driver, food, contributed over 50.1% to the CPI basket and reached 40% year-on-year, up from 37.9% year-on-year in February 2024. This was primarily due to the cost push factors worsened by a weaker Naira, insecurity in food producing regions, and infrastructural deficits. The March 2024 Farming Early Warning System Network Fuse Nest report highlighted the continued conflict and banditry in the northern part of the country, which is affecting the ongoing dry season cultivation, including harvesting vegetables. Similarly, core inflation, which excludes food and energy items, rose marginally to 25.9% year-on-year from 25.1% year-on-year in February 2024. On a month-on-month basis, core inflation rose by 2.5% in March 2024, compared to 2.17% in February 2024. By state, Kogi 40%, Bauchi 38.3%, and Kwara 38.1% recorded the highest headline inflation rates year on year in March 2024. This month, we expect food inflation to remain the main driver of overall inflation given the continued conflicts in the major producing areas and demand spurred by Eid El Fatril celebration. Moreover, the 231% hike in the insecurity tariff for Band A consumers to 225 naira kilowatts will impact inflation especially in the urban area. However, the appreciation in the Naira and reduction in diesel prices will minimize the impact on a month-on-month basis. On a balance of factors, we project headline inflation of 3.1% month-on-month and 34.8% year-on-year in April 2024. The unrelenting high inflation rate will remain a concern for the CBN's MPC, hence keeping interest rates high as inflationary pressures continue to outpace the return on fixed income instruments. In light of this, it is important to invest in high-yielding investments that can hedge against the persistent decline in the value of the Naira and turn your real rate of return positive. Therefore, it is advisable to have a diversified portfolio with a sizable portion of your investments in dollars, fixed income and stocks, high-yield fixed income Naira products, good rated commercial papers, and fundamentally sound Nigerian stocks with high dividend yield. Thank you for listening. Please join us same time next week for another interesting and insightful session. For questions, comments, and feedback, kindly forward to ebo.iodg at gmail.com or send an SMS to 70 Stay blessed.